um, there was a zoologist uh, who was looking at, plucked out a uh, kind of a muskrat looking animal from hibernation and dissected it and found that there was this brown lump that was between its shoulder blades and nobody knew what it was. They just, and it, the more researchers and biologists and zoologists looked at animals that were hibernating, they, they found this very consistently. In fact, they called that brown mass first at a hibernoma. Hiber, hibernating, oma, a mass, we don't know what it does, okay? Um, a hibernoma, that's what it was known until 1930s. In the 1930s at UCLA, a researcher who, in the beginning, we didn't have microscopes, and then we had microscopes, and we had really great microscopes. And all of a sudden, in the 1930s, the researcher uh, at UCLA said, you know, that hibernoma is actually made of fat cells, and those fat cells are brown, and the reason they're brown is because they have a lot of mitochondria in it. Mitochondria being the fuel cells of our body, like the, the batteries of our body, 